Hey everyone out there, this is Teddy Riley uh, doing a Teddy Talks podcast today about creativity techniques. So here's three excellent creativity techniques for you. Uh, how can you come up with even more creative ideas? Well, this won't be a problem for you if you consider the following tools. Number one, absence thinking. So ask yourself, are you stuck and unable to shift thinking to other modes? The absence thinking technique is an excellent way of helping you out of this particular situation. So think about what you're thinking about and then try to think about something else, something totally different in case you're looking at something or, or using any of your four other senses, notice what is missing. Listen to sounds or, or your environment and notice what you don't hear. Uh, watch people's actions and notice what they do and then notice what they don't do. So write down things you normally forget about. Carefully and deliberately think about anything that is absent. What's not there? Why this is considered a great creativity technique, okay, is because normally we only sense things that are there, that are around us, but, but we don't notice the things that, that are not there. So absence thinking challenges you in a creative way to think about things you normally don't realize. Number two, concept screening. So if you have multiple options, concept screening is an excellent creativity technique. So the first step is to identify the criteria you use. You ask yourself um, if these can generate significant debates, then choose a baseline concept. Uh, so for example, a competitor product or an industry benchmark against which all other options will be compared. This will be very helpful to you with regards to comparing two options rather than allocating a standalone score to a single option. So the next step is to examine all these options and compare them against each criterion to give it a relative score. So you have to choose a scoring scheme uh, that's easy for you to, to, uh, to handle. Or, you know, for example, a one through 10, you know, this is a 10, this is a nine, this is an eight, or A plus, A, A minus, um, to show basically better, the same, worse. Finally, each option has its score totaled in order to show its overall score relative to the baseline concept. The option with the highest score is presumably the best option for you. Okay, moving on. Number three, doodling. This one's fun. Doodling means to take a pen and just draw at any place and at any time. Just let your hand wander, your subconscious guide you, and try to avoid thinking about the particular problem. So draw something abstract um, or draw the problem. Uh, let your hand do whatever drawing it wants to draw. Just let it go. Once you've finished your drawing, you know, look at it, examine it openly. Um, what does it mean to you? And, and again, let your mind wander and see what happens when you look at your drawing. This technique can be useful for people who are not strong with a more verbal approach. Okay, there you have it. Three excellent creativity techniques uh, to try next time.